Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna change the party tempo. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? Mellow out, sure. I'd rather things didn't get too crazy. Let's bring things down a little. Excellent decision. Please give me a moment to switch to more relaxing music and prepare appetizers. So this does pretty much what I thought, which it loads it into a new kind of state. And where people kind of roam around. Well, I guess I can't talk to him anymore. All right, well, whatever. Drink. I'm drinking. But it's not a drinking game. Afraid to lose? Shepard? Grunt? Shepard! Rex? Commander Shepard. Shepard, Shepard, Shepard. Rex? Grunt? Shepard! Shepard! Shepard? Shepard? Grunt? Shepard! Rex? Commander Shepard. Shepard, Shepard, Shepard. Rex? Grunt? Shepard. Shepard. Shepard? Shepard? Grunt? Shepard! Rex? Commander Shepard. Shepard, Shepard, Shepard. Rex? Grunt? Shepherd. So they did know the meme. Shepherd. Shepherd. Does this really just go on forever? Shepherd. Grunt. I guess it does. Shepherd. Rex. Commander Shepherd. Alright, it's fucking great. Alright, I'm I'm done. Shepherd. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Uh let's go back. How about that one? On the arm there? Got that taking some knives off a gang of drunk Batarians. They figured they could stop me from collecting the bounty on their boss. Idiots. So, this one's from two Krogan that had a problem with me running Arlac Company. They learned to live with it. Turns out only one of them had to. Ha <laughs> ha You're all right, grunt. You know, someone who doesn't understand that meme must have been really confused when that happened. Jeffrey? Yeah, there you go again. Shepherd. 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 All right, I guess we are actually done with that. Protheans can read the smallest details of our environment. Tattooed human, I would like to touch you. <laughs> I'm not nearly drunk enough for that. You then, shuttle pilot. How about you? Um, why is Javik getting all touchy feely? Hey, collector looking asshole. Maybe go touch yourself. That does not happen until the end of the party. <laughs> Commander! Javik? Apologies. I have been drinking the provided drinks. Sure. Uh, you might want to tap the brakes a little. Everyone having a good time? Will there be food available soon? You're hungry, Edie? No. However, my research suggests that serving intoxicants without nourishment is considered unwise. I can eat. In my sight, we had food. Many of varieties. You feeling okay? I am Prothean. I never feel okay. Though this drink is changing that. Hmm. Know what I could go for? Fish and chips. Greasy, salty, crispy, flaky, melt in your mouth. Yes, that. Let's get that. Shall I arrange some fish and chips, Shepard? Steve, is that your favorite? Actually, I'm a dessert guy. My aunt used to make this chocolate lava bomb cake. When I first escaped from Cerberus, I found these chocolate chip cookies at a store. <sighs> Ripped through the whole damn thing. Nothing in this cycle compares to the food of my people. Maybe you should get cooking then, Javik. Most of our ingredients are extinct. Except Krogan. Sorry. Dury. Very. And Quarry. Is there any we could spare? Hope you don't feel left out, Edie. Do not worry. I've been employing a socialization protocol feature that came with this unit. It is called Smile and Nod. 
Okay, I'll see about arranging more food then. You know, forget food. This bar is impressive. Let's crack open this bad boy and see what we can come up with. Beverages. More would be preferable. His arm just clipped into the thing there. All right, I, I support drinking. Sure, help yourself to the bar. But I'd steer clear of the creme de menthe if I were you. Oh my god, you ain't kidding. <laughs> that stuff will make you sicker than pure wrinkle. Whew, trust me. Shit, it is disgusting. God, I don't want to talk to Cortez. Fine. Nice party. And relax a bit yourself, okay? We'll see. Yeah, oh, dude, his hands just keep clipping through the fucking... Like the countertop, the hell? So, talking about food at a party, like, for fun. Bored? Is there a place I can go light something on fire? The fireplace is right there. Eh, it's not the same. Oh, it's a pyro. Nah, it's not. Hey, no touching, asshole. I mean no harm, tattooed human. I have read you. You don't need to read me. Just ask and I'll tell you exactly what I think. Yes, this is what I have read. Is everyone all right? Can I get anyone anything? Steve, I will prepare everything. Do not worry. Steve, get me a double. Make yours a double, too. Let's kick this shit up. Commander! Alright. Uh, we'll go over here now. Oh, fuck. Of course, the SR2 is much bigger, so they upgraded the ventilation system. More of a... <laughs> That's actually what it sounds like. There is a lot more space now. But if you move further up, it's more of a... <laughs> a what? You have to imagine my arms are the wings. <laughs> of course. Over by the med bay. Exactly! What are you guys talking about? Tally was acting out the differences between the original Normandy and the SR2. Acting. I may have recorded it. And that recording may already have six million extra net hits and a fan site. You better hope I never find you. Yeah, but which one's better? The SR2 is harder to perform. Does that make it better or worse? The SR1 was a decent ship, but the SR2 gave the Normandy a fresh start. It made it something truly great. Just look at what it accomplished. The SR2 made a good ship better. The original Normandy was developed by the Turian Council and the Alliance. It's a symbol of cooperation between members of the galactic community. And we wouldn't be where we are now without it. Support the number one. We wouldn't have the SR2 if it hadn't been for the original Normandy. I'll never forget the time we spent on that ship. It meant a lot. It meant a lot to me, too. Yeah. Uh, so guys, how about that old clone thing? That was weird, right? You know what I'm talking about? Alright. I think there's, uh, there's no one else to talk to. Actually, we haven't seen Garrus. And I think Zaid. Was Zaid here before? I had no idea you were Where's Morden? Oh, right. Morden's de fucking dead. Rest in pepperonis. Oh, wait. It's Samara. I heard the footfall, and I knew that it was you, Shepard. The footfall? Not enjoying the party, Samara? Oh, yes, Shepard. I am. Although not in the same way as the others, perhaps. Are you worried about me? Don't be. I only stepped away for a moment to use the restroom. And then I found this quiet corner. Reflecting on one's place in the universe while a party rages within reach can feel oddly self-affirming. Meditating isn't often considered party behavior. 
Perhaps. I don't attend many parties, to be honest. Then I'm flattered. Your influence in my life causes me to be drawn to you, no doubt. For better or for worse, considering our past unpleasantness. I wasn't sure you'd come. We haven't always seen eye to eye. Life is long, Shepard. Well, I'll leave you to it. I wonder if uh, I get more dialogue. I guess not. So, Edie said you found her voice attractive. Well, actually, she said the word you used was like, Ugh! or something. Uh, that was when I thought she was a VI. Anyway, you'd just better treat her right. All right. Oh, 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 somebody jealous? I think you had a better shot when she looked like a holographic chess piece trainer. I wouldn't have said chess piece precisely. But listen, the point is, you hate AIs. You had to overcome all your hang-ups, whereas I was totally fine with AIs to begin with. Other fish in the sea, trainer. Are you serious? Not with that voice. It's like feeling smoky satin slide across your skin in soft candlelight. Just... Mm. We're talking about fucking v VIs or AIs or whatever. I can get in on that. Wait, are you two arguing over Edie? No! Probably not. Okay, you know she smashed my head against the side of a shuttle? I know! Twice! I heard it from Liara! That was like forever ago. Plus it wasn't Edie back then. It's really unfair of you to even bring it up. Yeah, what the hell was I thinking? Probably just brain damage making me touchy. Apology accepted. You know, it's not healthy to just bottle these things up. The hell is up? Still creepy, Kasumi. Well, I'm glad you two are drunk enough to finally deal with this. Oh, we weren't planning to deal with it. We're just happy giving each other shit. We can call Edie over, and you can discuss your feelings like mature adults. What? No. That would be weird. Just... just no. You don't think she knows? You guys, she's the Normandy AI. She sees every extranet site you browse. Note to self, delete browser history. I can show you how to set up an automated task for that. <laughs> I like how I just got up. Nothing else to say. It's so pleasant here. Sitting by oneself and listening to the enjoyment of others can be quite calming. All right, there. Not drinking. Is this because of your bone thing? Yeah, I'm afraid I might get tanked and then pull a gun on Shepard to protect Udina. Wait, hang on, you did that sober. Ha ha ha. Ashley got fucking wrecked. Shepard? You guys are great. When I'm on a mission, there's nobody I'd rather have back on the ship. And there's nobody we'd rather have down on the front lines getting shot at than you, Ash. Dodging grenades, getting your face all smashed up by robots. You guys are dicks. No, Ashley, you're just... Fucking that undesirable. So we're never talking about this again, right? Absolutely not. Right. Wait, absolutely not. You're agreeing with me, or absolutely not. We are talking about this again. Shut up, Moreau. Shepard. Commander. All right. I I still don't see the two. I was really curious about. Are there? Uh, this place is a goddamn joke. Sight lines aren't bad. One point in its favor, and I'm supposed to be impressed. And what the hell is this supposed to be? I... I think... It's... Art. Oh. Mm. Art, eh? Okay, I see now. Sure. Art. I like it. What are you guys doing over here? Looking at this poor excuse of an apartment, that's what. What's wrong with it? What would you do if another one of your clones broke in here, eh? Offer them a cup of tea? Ah, there are too many windows, and they're, they're too big. Makes it easy for someone to track your movement. But it's got potential. Be easy to set up a defensible position over there. I'd extend a wall out. Prevent someone sticking you in the back. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, good idea. Mm. Wish I could have done that back in the day on Omega. Why don't you two relax and enjoy the party? 
The apartment's fine. Yeah. Fine? Huh. Suppose tomorrow it's Liara's clone that comes after you. Hmm? Or Joker's. Yeah, him. Twitchy little guy. Might already be a clone. An evil one at that. All right. Have fun. Shepard, you moved the Normandy's main battery into here, and I think I'm home. Calibrations. Of course. So you never truly get to talk to uh, Katsumi, because she's, like, in and out. What about over there? It would work if there wasn't a point of entry right there. Mm. So, we barricade it off. Maybe install a tripwire. You're a genius, Vakarian, I swear it. Are they modifying my apartment? How's it going? Shepard. Alright, well, I think we're good now. The party appears to be a success, Commander. Do you require anything further? Uh, drinks or deal cards, fine. Make drinks. People were talking about mixing drinks. Why don't you join Edie at the bar? Certainly, Commander. My knack for precise measurements may prove useful. Does that even mean anything? Like, either option? I don't think it does. I think it just brings it to the next stage. Hang out with guests. Oh god, this is the hardest mission objective yet. Doesn't have to be fancy. Shepard specifically requested more drinks. Are you certain you were up to the challenge? Absolutely. You were certain? I can access drink recipes if necessary. Doesn't have to be fancy. Trust me, Edie. I worked at a bar to pay for university. According to my records, you had a full scholarship. The scholarship. Oh fuck. They were done. Everybody okay? Specialist trainer is preparing drinks. I had no idea you knew how. Try me. How about a quad kicker? Spiced rum, bourbon, ginger ale, no curry powder, I'm allergic. I read about something called a tasty tankard. Irish cream, coconut rum, iced chocolate, and butterscotch schnapps, if Shepard has it. Impressive. I almost wish I could experience intoxication. Oh, well, let me make you something. Maybe a mix of fruit juice, vodka, cognac, white wine, and blue thessia. Interesting. Now, if you'll excuse me, Liara needs a shadow brocatini, no lime. Garrus asked for a dextro heat sink. Someone named Kasumi wants something called a memory stealer. Jack asked for a mix of vodka, whiskey, bourbon, and any energy drink I can find. Miranda is unhappy because her glass of perfection calls for strawberry liqueur, which we don't have. And Tali just wants anything she can drink through a straw. Glad to see you have things well in hand. You keep it pretty quiet, Shepard. Nobody has punched me yet. Not that I'd recommend it. Good to see the old gang again. Liara's looking good. I mean... <laughs> You know, I haven't fallen down yet. Time to step this up. Microfilament's the answer. You think? Then there's a better, just a spot. Yeah, a five by five grid across the glass should do the trick. All right, Garrus, I gotta know. What are you doing? Hmm, uh, nothing, just, uh, admiring the polish on this glass. Good, don't tell him, he won't understand. Try me. Oh, it's just, well, one man's decorative glass wall fixture is another man's explosive glass wall fixture. Oh, now you're in for it. Explosive? Microfilaments, Shepard. Tiny strips of explosives laid across the glass in a grid. It's your first line of defense. When an intruder enters, hit the switch and boom! They're shredded to pieces. Weaponized wall fixture, Shepard. Wave of the future in home defense. Uh-huh. Trust me, if I had this back on Omega in my Archangel days, there'd be even more dead mercs. If you say so. Just try not to scratch the finish. You're just setting up booby traps. Just have to wait for another one of them clones to stumble in. Uh, of 
course, when this glass goes, the plants probably won't survive. Plants are overrated. You can always get oxygen from a tank. <laughs> are they, uh, done? So, what do we do now, Zaid? I'm telling you, the kitchen's a gold mine of possibilities. Another clone drops by, might fancy a bite to eat. Break the refrigerator. Why stop there? Who says a kitchen faucet's just for water? Cyanide's a liquid too, you know. <laughs> Shepard. I have several problems with this. Sure, this doesn't have any ring call in it. Positive, and you're welcome. Can I get another in a bigger cup? Maybe one of the flower pots. It uh might take a while to get that many ingredients. Aww. I have not heard of the last drink you mentioned, the frozen pie jack. Hey, the next one's for me. She promised. Oh, I shouldn't tell. Trade secret. We would be extremely grateful. Oh, fine. You usually make a frozen pie jack for the loud customers. Every few hours, you empty your spill pad into a martini glass and add some ice. Et voila. And there you go. Who knows what's in there? Seriously, though, I called the next one. Hello, Shepard. All right. Wait, I said pour drinks, but they're playing cards anyways. You're bluffing. Don't be so sure. I got a pretty good poker face. I can tell when someone is hiding something from me. Right. Anyway, now we put our cards on the table. It is foolish to reveal secrets to the enemy. It's part of the game, and we're not enemies. Hey, you want me to deal you in on the next one? I bet you'd be good at this. No. See, that right there. Perfect poker face. What are you talking about? You're still doing it. Commander, can you believe Doc's never played poker? How are the lessons going? The Asari still refuses to take risks. Victory does not come without cost. You're not even playing. Doc's not much of a gambler. Be glad we are not participating in one of the games from my cycle. You would all lose horribly. Oh, be nice to Liara. You're going to have your hands full with me, anyway. Adios. How long have you been there? Well, my willingness to gamble aside, this has been a wonderful evening, Shepard. Glad you guys are having fun. It's nice to see people relax and let their guards down. I'll try not to take advantage. Time spent being idle. Do you fear the crew will grow soft, Commander? I think everyone could use the break. This from the Asari who buries herself in studying Prothean day and night. Good to know, bickering like an old married couple has not changed since your cycle. Enjoy your game, guys. And I'd keep an eye on Liara if I were you. Give me a few more rounds and you might not have anything left to wager. Now this game is getting more interesting. Take your photo. Fuck. So, what games did you play in your cycle? Good question. You don't exactly strike me as Mr. Playful. There was one game. It has no name in your language. Three teams met in the arena. Their strength, agility, loyalty, all were tested. The winners were honored, while those that lost... You didn't, uh, sacrifice the losers, did you? Your cycle allows them to live? Um, well... <laughs> I will never tire of tricking the primitives. That is a game I enjoy playing. I like Javik. The totally voice DLC later on and not and not cut out part of the game. Out, Aren't you the one who wanted me to bet more? You're quite determined when you want something, aren't you? You know, Liara, if you're ever looking for a new line of work, I bet we could have all sorts of fun. What about me? I usually work with people who are a bit more, uh, subtle. Hey, I can be subtle. Are you whistling?
Fuck, it's outside the room. Alright, now we're done. Alright. Now we need to go find. Uh. Do we want to open this? Tally, are you okay? Yep. Yeah. You want to see my tattoo? I don't think you have a tattoo, Tally. It's a hologram. Omni tattoo. Omni tat. Omni two. <laughs> Under the suit. You know, for me. You want to know what it is? You want to know? It's a pretty bird made of rainbows. It is flying out of the eye hole of a skull being held in the mouth of a thresher maw with a naked woman holding a sword on its back. Because I'm hardcore. Like Ezo. Jack suggested it. Remind me to talk to Jack in the morning. Where'd you get the Omni tattoo anyway? Down in the lower wards, near the bottom. I meant where on your body. So did I. <laughs> yeah, I heard that one from Liara. Get some rest, Tally. I don't even make it onto this thing. You sure you're okay, Tally? Fine. Suit doesn't let me get overly intoxic. Intox. Drunk. Just have it all flushed out in a minute. <laughs> Omni too. It just smells like sweat. Why would you even ask that? Don't do that in my helmet. It just gunks up the filters. No, that gets broken down with mass effect fields. Those are just my hips. Go for the optics, Chatika. Oh, Mr. Vakarian. I could use some help with my suit seals. Uh, let's see. I have to figure out how far I have to be. Sure, trainer. I'll have another. Just talking about various crew members. Okay, I guess that's it. I probably should end it here. I'm gonna end it here. It's like fucking 30 minutes. Fuck. Alright, continue the party next time. Bye.